health officials have concerns as state numbers of measles cases are increasing. Parents are encouraged to make sure that their children are caught up on vaccinations. The Minnesota Department of Health is working with local public health agencies and healthcare providers within the Twin Cities to investigate 13 cases of measles that occurred June through September among several different families who had unvaccinated children. Most of these children had a history of travel to a country where measles is both common and circulating. The most recent case did not have a reported travel history, but investigators are still working to determine how the transmission may have occurred. All cases are within the Twin Cities area. The children have been as young as two years old to children within their early teens. And just over one third are preteen. Seven children were hospitalized for treatment for measles. Minnesota's 13 cases are several times greater than the number of cases the state sees in a typical year. The higher number of cases prompted health officials to alert healthcare providers to watch for signs of measles within their patients, especially those with recent travel to areas where the virus is known to be circulating. The possibility that the most recent case could indicate that measles is spreading in our community prompted health officials today to urge patients to make sure that their children are up to date on childhood immunizations, which include the measles, mumps, rubella, or MMR vaccine. Dr. Ruth Linfield, a state epidemiologist, made the following comment. The measles virus is highly contagious and very successful at finding people who are unvaccinated, even within groups of people who may be vaccinated. She continues to say that measles can be a very serious disease, causing hospitalizations and sometimes death. That's why it is so important to maintain high vaccination rates for measles. The MMR vaccine is safe and highly effective against measles. This is according to Jennifer Heath, an immunizations program coordinator for MDH. Because the virus itself is so contagious, Heath said that an overall vaccination rate of at least 90% in our communities is needed to keep the virus from causing large outbreaks. Minnesota saw a 3% drop in school age immunizations during the pandemic. This was due largely to people not getting in for a routine well child care visit.
Heath continues to say, even a small drop in the immunization coverage rate means that there are thousands more children who could be vulnerable to disease because they are not vaccinated. If the coverage rate in a setting like a child care or school is significantly less than 85 or 90%, then that means it's an outbreak waiting to happen.